What's happening, fam? L.A. all moving, still moving. Money over everything. So watching this uh, video on Vice News about the Gullah Geechee in South Carolina. So if you go on Vice News, it happened like January 9th, I want to say, when they did the uh, 9th or the 6th. I forget which one. But very interesting. I might put the link there. I might not. I don't know. Um... But this is what happens when you have money over everything. We live in a society where people really think currency and the ability to afford quote unquote nice things gives you carte blanche to fuck up people's lives. You know, it, it, like the, the ends justifies the means. Now, this is America, so I know that this is how this country is built. My, this country is built on killing people and fucking up people's lives so somebody can have a nicer car, clothes, uh, house, you know, ju nicer jewelry than people. Don't, don't get it twisted. You know, this is why, this is, this is what this economy is set and based on. I'm going to fuck up your life. So I can buy a Benz. Yeah, yeah. But then motherfuckers talk around, turn around to about these rappers walking around with this crazy lifestyle. Just what the fucking country's built on. This is a sick society made, by, made up, made, created and founded by sick motherfuckers. So what happens? Money over everything. What you think slavery was? Money over everything. What you think killing the Native Americans was? Money over everything. What you think the Wild Wild West was? Money over everything. What you think Jim Crow was? Money over everything. What you think all these wars that has been been since the inception of this country? Money over everything. Why do I sell this stuff? Because at some point you're gonna have to realize pieces of paper that say one, five, ten, twenty, fifty, a hundred should not be worth a person's humanity. I got a stack of paper. This means, you know, I might have fucked up your family's life and your life and your future generation's life. You know why? Because I got a stack about this thick of good paper. And that good paper can buy me things that really... See the difference between earning your keep or earning your fortune than pillaging other people's lives. And I know this country isn't set up to, to, to understand doing things the good old-fashioned, honest way because it doesn't promote. And a lot of your, 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 your richest people didn't get things the honest way. A lot of them aren't, aren't um, honest people. We go, we're shrewd businessmen. What, what does that mean? They fuck boys who fuck you over for a dollar. That's what that really means. I was being a smart business. No. It, you know, it's not personal. It's just business. How is it not personal when you fuck over somebody's life for a buck? Well, it wasn't just a buck. I got, like, a lot of them. Okay. So when that person comes to fuck your life up, it's it should be fair game. No, that's not right. See, that's where it's wrong. See, then it's not money over everything. It's only money over everything when you're getting, when you're on the 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 the, the receiving end of a windfall of money by fucking over somebody else. But when they start fucking over you, all of a sudden, that's revenge. That's immoral. That's unethical. That's just wrong. It's not. It's karma, motherfucker. Um, sometimes I, I see homeless people. And for all y'all know, there was a time when I was in college where I, basically I was homeless. So I have a soft spot for homeless people. Uh, people who are, who, are, who are truly homeless out of circumstance. People don't know a lot of kids are homeless, you know, uh, out of circumstance. Not just people who are drug addicts. And, you know, some people have... Uh, have Bad circumstances have been dealt a bad hand. 
some people have um had a traumatic experience that just just they had no support for and they're just out there now so that doesn't mean that their lives are worthless that doesn't mean that those people are beneath you because they don't have what you have money does not trump their humanity i don't care who they are or what you think they might be the reason i'm saying all this is because There was a scene in, I think it was Hell on Wheels, when the, when the white guy was talking to the Indians, and it was like, you know, we can give you a better way of life. And he's like, I like my way of life. You know, but um, we want to give you some land. He's like, hold up. Then he was like, did you buy it? No. Did you trade for it? No. So how is it your land? And that is this America we're talking about. It's like, it's just the land of the United States government. Ironically, the same type of shit that, you know, the Oregon militia tried to do. The reason, getting back to the reason why this is bothersome. There is no justification for respecting paper over people. None. It's just that simple. Everybody's not going to have uh, the greatest life. Everybody's not going to have the worst life. But everybody's life is important. And just because somebody has less than you doesn't mean, or you, you or you are opportunistic about getting more. That doesn't that doesn't give you the right to further fuck up their lives or fuck up their lives for you to get ahead so to me money over everything is bullshit because it's funny how it's okay when you're getting something good out the deal but it's unfair if you actually cross the wrong person and you pissed them off and they make you pay for it you know money don't buy a class believe me when I say that peace